close your eyes and direct your mind to the breath. As the Buddha said, our life depends on how we direct our minds. So you direct your thoughts to the breath as part of a larger direction. You decide you want to put an end to suffering, and the Buddha said suffering comes from craving in the mind. So you have to look into the mind, see where is the craving, where are the defilements that make me want to go along with the craving. Because as St. John Swart pointed out, we suffer because of the things we like. And as the Buddha pointed out, many times it's the things we like that make us behave in all sorts of wrong ways. There are four ways, he says, that make us behave, put us in the wrong direction. We start leaning over because of things we like and desire, or we lean over because of things we don't like, or we lean over out of ignorance and delusion, or we lean over out of fear. In other words, we don't do the right thing. We do something that's pulled off by our likes or our dislikes or our delusion or our fear. So we have to set the mind straight, right here, right at the breath, realizing the problem is not outside. Other people have done all kinds of horrible things. That's true. But the fact that we're suffering is because the mind is not skilled. So we're trying to develop the skills inside that will enable us the next time something really bad happens to avoid causing ourselves suffering. And when we don't cause ourselves suffering, it's, we're much less likely to cause other people suffering, too. It's when we're miserable that we start spreading the misery around. So we look inside. To where are the things that you like? Where are the things that you're angry about? Where are the things that you're deluded about? What are the things you're afraid of? Try to comprehend them so you don't have to be pulled out of off course by those things. It's natural that there will be things we like and things we don't like, but you want to make sure that you stay the course, stay the Buddhist course, follow the Buddhist path, because his path avoids all kinds of dangers. His analogy is of a highway that goes through a jungle. As long as you stay on the highway, you're safe, but if you start leaving the highway and going off into the side roads, there's no guarantee. So direct your mind right here at the breath, that's in the right direction. That's how your life as a whole takes a good direction as well. <laughs>